there's a channel up on YouTube and it's called Riff Rats. Like probably about, I'd say about a quarter of a ton of frozen meats. And it only cost me like what? I don't know, about 80 quid, 90 quid. I don't have anything I want. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm starting to run low actually. So when I get the next lot in, I'll, I'll show it to everyone. I can get loads of shit, man. And these ain't small joints neither. These are fucking proper half of a fucking, half of the lamb, you know what I mean? Like fucking spare ribs as well, fucking, oh my God. See, I don't trust the buying it off the net, to be fair. I'd rather just go to my local butchers and get it. Yeah, because oh, I, I just, I just don't, hey. do not trust it, you know. Are you like that? I don't get all mine offline. Oh, I get it off the lorry. Ah, oh, mate. Fucking. I oh, want the lorry legit. in the market. Yeah, you can get. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I don't I trust it. You don't know where you, they got it from. Mate, they're all trustworthy, bro. They, no, I'm not talking about like the back of a lorry where it's been nicked somewhere. No, oh, what about the one to go down the markets and stuff? Yeah. Oh, no, not them. Not them. The ones that like do the shops, like your kebab shops and all that. Where do you think the kebab shops get all their fucking big sticks of meat that they whack up on the machine? Well, they turn the they meat round. They, they make their own kebab meat. <clears throat> well, do. Some, some do, some do, some don't. They, they order it in. Believe it or not, this is going to shock you, and it is a con. It's a fucking con. When you go into a kebab shop, right, and you look at their big machine where the meat's turning round, yeah, and it's a big, big lump of meat, right, and they stand it up in front of their thing on the machine, and it slowly keeps turning, and it cooks the meat, and they slice it with a big, long knife. Do you know how much that actually costs... Do you know yeah. how much that actually costs the shop when they not buy that in? I know, not a lot no. at all. No. It's about 10 quid. But yet no. they're making 300, 400 quid out of them no, every it's day. It's not 10 quid, it's about... It's I'm about telling 50. you, it only got the actual meat on its own, it's a tenner. It's not I'm telling bad. you, not it is... I'm telling you, it is. Go, all right, go up online, go to JB's and go and look. Trust me, bro. It's a con, these shops, and a lot of people don't realise every time you're buying a kebab, they're charging you seven or eight quid for a fucking, a few slices of the kebab meat. That's why they order it in. Why do you think they make their money? It's a con. Why do you think I don't? It's very rare that I buy a kebab. If I want to buy a kebab, I'll just They're go straight to the shop. They, they, look, they do make a big profit on it. I know, look, I know a guy you own, he just sold it actually. Um, he, they used to make, make his own, but then he ordered it in and he said, he makes a good bit of money on the kebab things, but then again, if you don't have the customers, then they do lose it as well because they've got to chuck the fucking thing away if they ain't got no customers. You know? Uh, mate, mate, right, what you right, what you want to do when you go to your kebab shop, if you've got a really good friendship with them, just say to them, look, I'm, 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 yeah, but then what I'm saying to them, if they don't have any customers and they, they, there's been a recession or anything, and they don't have any customers, yeah. so I have to throw that big fucking thing away and lose money. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about yourself. What you want to do, if you have a really good relationship with your shop bloke or lady, just say to them, look, I've got a really big freezer here at home. How much would you charge? Yeah, because this is how I've done it for the first couple of years. How much would you charge to get me the, the large stick? And that's how I started getting getting my stuff in. 
and I just used to. Do you know how I used to do you it? You telling me? You, you telling me you got a a large? You buy a large dollar kebab mix? I can, I can do. I haven't at the moment, but I can get one. Yeah, but that's because I've known the kebab shop for many, 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 many years. Many years. He ain't gonna bother and give you a kebab, a kebab stick like that. Mate, it's so, mate, ask your kebab shop if you've known them for many years. I guarantee you, if you've got a decent size they freezer, to get, they, they have to get their theirs. Yeah, you just give them the money. You don't get it for nothing. You just pay the price that the shop pays, and that's how I know. Hello. It's the tricks you've learned. You've learned, and that's how I've learned over the years. I'm very, I'm very, very clued up with my shops where I live. I know most of them since they were at fucking school. I used to go to school with them, so I've grown up with them. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Go to your shop and say to them, look, I've got a big freezer at home. How much would you charge me for one of those? Or one of them, or whatever. And if you really get on well with them, you'll be, you'll, you'll be all right. It's like they say, you scratch their back, they scratch your back. Simple as that. Don't fuck.